No matter how invitingly he looks, very few customers will walk through this jewelry shop in Tripoli's copper market. Since the unrest began, traditional handicrafts are one of the many industries that have suffered losses. The copper market is one of the oldest heritage markets in the country. At one point, it was considered the pride of Tripoli's old city district. The currency dealers are crawling into the copper market. They rent shops here and turn them into currency exchange shops. And as a result, the prices of shops in the market have gone very high. Currency traders are now buying shops for up to 700,000 US dollars, so rents have soared too. Some shops now cost 7,000 US dollars per month, an amount few can afford. Now only five of the old handicraft shops are left in the entire bazaar. We've been trying to maintain this market of craftsmen because the conditions we're currently facing have meant that many people have left the job. Now we remain only five of us working here. We have documented these irregularities to take action. The competent authorities have been contacted by the Ministry of Local Government, which controls the Department of Historic Cities and the authorities in control, to preserve this heritage so that some traditional industries do not disappear in the old city of Tripoli. But due to instability in the city, the necessary procedures take time to enforce. It's hoped that with a better law and order situation, the handicraft business could be revived once again. Catherine Omwando, CGTN.